Hi, I'm Gerald and today we're going to demonstrate how to set up Windows Server 2012. The tasks that we will be completing include creating two new local user accounts, creating a shared folder, and adjusting user permissions for that shared folder. The first task is to create two new local user accounts. There are actually two ways that we can create a new user account. First is through the control panel and the second is through computer management. To do it through control panel, you just right click on the start button, open control panel, go to user accounts, user accounts, manage another account, and you can just click here to add a new user account. I will be using uh, computer management to set this up, so we'll just click on server manager Go to Tools, Computer Management. Then we can find local users and group. Click on Users folder and just right click and select New User. Now we can just enter the information for each user that we want to add. The first user I want to add is John Smith, so we just enter John Smith. Smith as the username. Full name is John Smith. Description, he will be our manager. And the password and confirm password. And if this were a real user account, I would leave this check. So the user must change password next log on, but since this is a demonstration, I will just uncheck this and click create. Our second user that we can create is John Doe. So we'll just enter John Doe's username. First name is John. Last name Doe. Description is employee. And we can enter our password here. And just confirm the password. And likewise, I'll just uncheck this because since it's a demonstration account, if this were a real account, I would leave that checked and the employee would have to change the password on the first login. Okay. Now we can see right here that we have our two users that we added, John Doe and John Smith. The second task is to create a new shared folder and adjust user access permissions. So we'll just close out this window, go to our file explorer, go to our C drive, and I'm going to create a new folder called shares that we can keep all of our shared folders and I'll also create a new folder here and we'll just name it project A which John Smith and John Doe will be working on project A so we can share this folder with them. First thing we want to do on project A is actually adjust the permissions the uh, NTFS permissions so we can click on property, security, and click on edit so that we can add John Smith and John Doe to the access control list. Okay. Now that we have John Smith and John Doe, um, John Smith is our manager, so we want to give him both read and write access to this file. John Doe is the employee, so we want to give him read access, but not write access. So we just select John Smith, and since he does need write access, we'll go ahead and give him modify permissions 
on this and click apply. John Doe should already have read access and not modify access so everything should be correct on this one. So we got read and execute, list folder contents and read, check. And we just click OK and click OK here. Next thing we want to do is share this folder. So we can go share with specific people and John Doe and John Smith have already been added and we can just make sure that their permission level is correct so John Doe has already have read and that's correct John Smith has contribute and we change that to read write and then click on share and it asks do you want to turn on network discovery and file sharing for all public networks we can click on yes here and it gives us our UNC path of server 2012 slash project A and we can just click done here and also I want to go into properties go into sharing click on yeah, advanced sharing go to permissions and I actually want to remove the everyone group from the permissions and click OK and this will actually deny access to any unauthorized person on the network so next what we want to do is do a test demonstration of what happens when John Smith and John Doe tried to write to these files so we can sign up of our administrator account and just go to keyboard control delete the login as John Smith type in our password and we want to create a new text file in our shared folder so we just go to our C shares project A and do a new text document and we can call that test open it up and this is a test of right permissions John Smith and we can go to file save and it does save that to project A so John Smith does have the correct right permission working now we can go sign out of John Smith log in as John Doe and see if we can modify that file from John Doe so we click on our file explorer C drive shares okay so we do have read access we can read what John Smith has written but when you go to change something it should not let us save it so it gives us a option to save it as something else even when we do that it will not let us this says access is denied so our write permission is being blocked by our NTFS settings and I believe it should not let us create anything else yeah you need a administrator password in order to do that so the right permission is being blocked but John Doe has the ability to read anything in project A which is what we wanted so everything does look good so this completes the tasks of setting up new local user accounts and creating a shared folder 
with the adjusted permissions on Windows Server 2012.